Developing at noon, the two women charged in the murder of a 17 year old Garden City High School student found out how long they're going to be spending behind bars this morning. But before they learned their sentence, they had to face the family of Reginald Robinson. Local force Coco McAvoy joining us live now from the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice this afternoon. And Coco, what was their sentence? Good afternoon, Evrod. Both will spend more than 15 years behind bars. Sharnia McCoy and Erica Osborne both took a plea agreement, so they were sentenced according to that. But first, as you mentioned, they had to face the victim's mother. This is case number 17-004155. Sharnia McCoy and Erica Osborne appeared in court today to be sentenced for the murder of 17-year-old Reginald Robinson. She's seen on surveillance video driving her blue Ford Explorer and turning, doing a U-turn uh, to put the car in a position where her passenger could take aim. The shooting happened last February at a store on Detroit's west side. Police say Robinson laughed after someone made a comment about McCoy and Osborne's bodies. Then McCoy pulled up in an SUV outside of the store and Osborne pulled the trigger, killing Robinson. Robinson's mom first spoke to McCoy. Every time I would close my eyes, I would see my son laying on that cold ground in a puddle of blood. Then she let Osborne have it. You are rotten to the core and you're sickening to my stomach as well as the city. You should be under the jail. Both McCoy and Osborne said a few words before sentencing. I just wanted to make sure that the family knows that I am sorry. I apologize for my actions, you know, um, whether you accept it or not, I apologize for my actions. The two of them will now spend more than a decade behind bars for the senseless murder of a 17 year old boy who had a lot of talent and a bright future. And McCoy was sentenced to serve 16 to 40 years in prison and Osborne was sentenced to 27 to 50 years. Reporting live this afternoon, I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4.